Okay, okay. This is all about you. Come on, real quick. Hanzo's Dark Spoo <laughs> Dark Sport <laughs> One Piece. Dark Sport Zip Up. Don't know. Ones, I think. Are these ones? Yeah. Yep. Some sort of ones. Got them from a buddy of mine, Connor, back home as a gift. Dark Sport shorts. Dark Sport, like, cap, T. Dark Sport hat. I don't even remember if the last time I made a video. I don't even know if I've set them apart of Dark Sport yet. But I am. So, if you guys want to be the first people to use my code and support me, that would mean the most. I want to make a good first impression, so that would be sweet. I appreciate it. Oh, also the back is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But I haven't been on in a long time. I do apologize. I've been getting thick. I've been a little self-conscious. The post-show blues were kind of a thing for me. Just wanted to focus up and get into like a solid routine. Um, and I also have a new coach. So that's been a whole different thing, navigating, starting new training. And it's a lot of things are different. So I just wanted to get a good system down. Everything's good. But today we're going to hit legs. I'll show you kind of what my off-season training is looking like and my new training split is looking like. It's so different now. Um, and we're going to go to a new gym today. Uh, it's called Los Camp, but they're opening a new one. We're, we're allowed to go film and train there today, which is cool, before it opens. So uh, it should be just Kaylin and I, I think. We'll show you guys the gym out there. It's going to be pretty cool. And uh, I'll see you at the gym. We've got legs. So. I've been watching so many of those fake chiropractor videos of people like breaking drywall and stuff. Oh. Deep breath. Did you hear that? No. I'm waking myself up. There's some hair somewhere. They had like another little like carpeted room back there. So I wonder if like one of the like one of them will be posing them. Yeah. They need to get one of those slanted. Yes. So mirrors. you can see your back. Yeah. You could tell them <laughs> if they aren't already planning on doing that. Yeah. You know. Oh. You're swagged out. They kind of look like Spider Man. Yeah. Everything hurts today. Get back up there. Oh my gosh, that's tall. When I was sitting over there, it didn't seem that tall. Yeah, it was like scary. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I can get there. Yeah, I'll boost you up. Babe. I think. <laughs> I don't know. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Ready? No. I got you. My hands. Oh my god, I don't think I can do this. I got you. I'm right here. I'm not gonna let you fall. <laughs> oh, shit. I just immediately let you Oh fall. shit. Ready? Here. You're gonna have to jump at the same time. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! Okay, now let me down. Just let go. Let go. <laughs> Did I hurt your chest? No. Ugh. Oh, I try to muscle up, but. Oh, you hit your head. Yeah. You guys, this is just one small, not small, it's big, but this is just a CrossFit functional room all by itself. But it also has a full kitchen. How nice is that? They said that they're going to have like uh, games and stuff too. I don't remember. Ping pong or something? Yeah, pinball. Pinball, Super Smash Bros, things like that. So it's pretty sick. All right. Warm up complete, we're gonna start. Okay, we were just in that room over there, the CrossFit room, but this is basically the rest of the gym. I'll show you guys really quick before we start training. Look at the sea of equipment. Literally all the best shit you can find. All brand new. It just doesn't stop. Cardio's at the far end, I don't know if you can see from this, but standing adductor machine. Some leg machines. It's, they're still like putting it all together, I guess, like spacing it all out and stuff. Whole like leg section is down here, down this ramp. Bunch of leg stuff. 
everything you could think of, they have it. So it's pretty cool. I'm stoked that we're able to come in here while it's empty and train. All right, Kay? Just a warm up set. I have like two separate leg days, and this is the hard one, like the hardest one. They're both hard, but this is like super hard. As you guys will see, I do a lot of like the accessory movements first. I start with calves, then I'll go do like adductors and things like that. I mean, you'll see, but then all like the heavy compound stuff's like at the end. So I'm sort of like pre exhausting the muscles beforehand, and it makes it so much harder <laughs> and humbling. I have to go lighter, but. Do you have hack squats today? Yeah. Oh boy. Hack squats, leg press, split squats. Oh, yeah. that's tough. How are you feeling with your new training? It's been good so far. It's, hum again, humbling. Just everything's like so tempo oriented. I have to slow down. And like, I'm so used to, if you see my training like during prep or whatever, the intensity is really high. I'm just banging the reps out and then I'll do like partials and stuff, but I'm not really taking the time to like slow down, focus on just strictly contracting the muscles as hard as I can and getting like quality reps in. It was just mm -hmm. like, <sighs> and now everything's just so slow. Pause, pause, mm -hmm. and way more like calculated, but it's good. And I feel like there's a lot more emphasis on the point, like the weak points I need to bring up. Um, my hamstrings are ass. I need to improve on those in my arms. I never, I like all of last year, I didn't direct directly train my biceps or triceps. Like I just did chest and back, not a lot of, um, focus on like growing my arms, which I need to bring them up big time. So I'm um, having that incorporated now more is pretty fun. Luckily the stuff I need to work on is stuff that's like enjoyable to train though. Hammies is tough, but mm -hmm. like, my chest needs to grow, my arms need to grow. Um, so far so good. Um, just adapting to a new coach and stuff has been different, but in a good way, good change. so wild how quiet it is. Mm-hmm. Go as slow as possible. A lot of people like bounce and you're not getting much out of that. And it can honestly lead to like a lot of discomfort in your Achilles tendons. A lot of people get pain in their Achilles. How's it going? Hi. Um, <laughs> How long is he standing there? I don't know, should I restart that? <laughs> Anyways, calf raise is my first working set. I really like to think at the bottom, like when you're at the bottom, I almost feel like I'm pulling my foot up. Like I, I let the weight sink down, but I also like point my toes up mm -hmm. to like, accentuate the stretch at the bottom yeah and at the top just squeeze as hard as you can but go slow on the way down that's what you want to focus on and pause at the top squeeze really hard uh luckily if you look at kaylin's calves i have decent calves kaylin has huge calves but luckily we have some solid genetics i know some people it's tough to grow your calves but <laughs> slow down it might help mm-hmm I don't do anything crazy with my toes. I just like have a neutral stance, like shoulder width-ish apart. And that's about it. I know people point their toes in and out and all that. I don't do that.
They have a standing abductor. Kaylin's gonna give it a whirl. Oh! Squat, try to squat down a little bit. Whoa. Okay, I need to add weight. This is so terrifying. You're gonna rip your gooch. You probably, it probably doesn't feel right till you add some weight to it. Yeah. Like it's pretty interesting though. Like we got a kickback right there. You do kickbacks, right? Yeah, on a cable tower though. Yeah. This is me right here. Don't neglect your adductors. Right, John? Correct. Lesson learned. A lot of clients I have, and just people in general asking questions about so many specific little details, like how many warm-up sets should I take? Just pick something and stick to it. I mean, as far as warm-up sets go though, just take as many as you need to feel warmed up. There's not a specific number you need to do before you start diving into your working sets. Um, especially like, for instance, if you bench 135, compared to somebody who benches 405, you might just do the bar and then jump to 135, you feel nice and warm. Or uh, if you're doing 405, you might do the bar 135, 225, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just take as many as you need. When you feel warm, loose, this might be a problem. And then rock and roll, baby. You're breaking that bitch in. Yeah. Oof. These I really learned from Kalen, but I try to grab these handles and like jam myself, pin myself to the back of the seat, kind of lock myself in. Mm -hmm. I have my feet out, slightly kind of pointed in a little bit, like I'm pigeon toed. <laughs> and I'm thinking about crushing a watermelon between my thighs, basically. Squeeze really hard at the top. I have like decent adductors, maybe, but you see those people with that crazy where their teardrop is like separated by this huge mass. Lads, it makes your legs look way bigger if you have well-developed adductors, so work on that. Mm -hmm. Don't ignore them. Mm-hmm. I'm getting stronger. That's your, now you're entering your working set? Yeah, this usually is, but that was too easy. Okay. I'm gonna go heavier. Oh yeah. Also, I don't think there's any plates over there. We're gonna have to go find some. For a hack squat. What? I think. This is my top set. Mom. Okay. That was nine. Good work. One thing that's new with my training, now I don't want to give away all my coaches. This is, you know, for me specifically, but uh, we do work up to like a top set uh, till failure, like eight or so reps, eight to 10 reps, and then we do a back off set. So it's like two like working sets sort of, and back off sets a little more volume. It's like 12 to 15. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm backing off the weight by like 15-ish percent. And we try to do another 12 to 15.
Come on. Do another. Come on. There you go. Mm-hmm. I said do one more, you did three. <laughs> Your legs are still cut up. Sort of, everything else is soft. But honestly, I could be in worse shape. This, the hardest thing for me lately, I haven't spoke to you guys in a long time, but the hardest thing for me lately is just coming to terms with not being like shredded, you know? I spent such a long time getting leaner and leaner and leaner and getting the leanest in my life. And having fun with friends, and trying to be a little more flexible for a little bit. Go out and try food and all that kind of stuff, obviously. You can't stay that lean when you're doing all that. So, it's been tough for me mentally, I won't even lie, it's been like really tough. I mean, Caitlin knows, I complain about it all the time, it's probably so annoying. But we're both kind of going through a similar thing where it's just, the balance has been tough, finding that balance. And uh, training's been great, strength's going up, so that's fun. And just trying to shift my focus more towards like having, from the food, being able to perform better, as opposed to just like looking worse or dwelling on not being stage lean because one, it's not sustainable, and two, I was miserable for the most part. You know, it's fun, mm -hmm. but physically I felt so bad. So, yeah, um, gotta just enjoy this while it lasts. This, this is one machine we've never had in our gyms before. It looks interesting. Where's the lever? Usually there's like some, <laughs> something back there. I don't think there, is there one? Oh, it's up here. Oh, okay. Holy shit, okay. look at the side of your, your quads <laughs> are crazy. I look like a chode. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. In your program, does it say you can do pendulum or hack? Yeah. I'm like... Which I'll never do pendulum. That yeah. shit's so fucking hard. I mean, this is hard, don't get me wrong, but... Yep, you're, go down. Good. Oh. <laughs> this one's different. It looks shorter. Yeah. Doesn't it look is. as big. I think it is. This isn't an arsenal, that's why. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. And the angle's like slightly different, too. Is it better? A little bit, yeah. Helps you sink into the hole a little better. Less pressure on my knees. Just warming up. Same as the last, working up to top set of eight. We'll see what we can do. I don't know. This is, the setup is different. Maybe I'm just like overthinking it. But, and these plates feel heavy. 44 pounds. So technically it's lighter, but it doesn't feel like it's heavier. <laughs> Kilo plates. I think also just like breaking in the equipment. Yeah, that's Like I can sure. tell like everything is like very stiff. Yeah. I'm not even gonna want to train by the time this is done. <laughs> I'll try to be quick. No, you're fine. Get a pack food. Yeah. Rookie mistake. Yeah. I'm gonna shit myself. That too. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going on. Wait. Foam roller. Kaylin, you want to break it down? I might have already before, but just... Yeah, so we put the foam roller behind our back on this specific hack squat. Just because the arsenal is like a pretty big piece of equipment and the angle of it makes you... I don't know, it just doesn't target your quads as much when you don't have it there. So with the foam roller right there, it, it leans your chest forward a little bit and puts more emphasis on your quads. Try it out. I think it feels way better. We also don't do banded hack squats here. Sorry. It's not a lot. I like to keep my foot placement high. On this, again, go really slow. Slight outward knee drive. Don't let your knees like cave in. And I uh, pause at the bottom. Still just warming up, going up to a working set. I took that Super Savage pre-workout before this as well. 
That on top of a pumpkin cream cold brew is just <laughs> not mixing well in my stomach. Cause I'm a fucking idiot. Ooh, my nail broke. I gotta cut these. It's weird having natural nails again. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, totally really. <laughs> Do you want me to help you on this set? Cause I can prop the camera up. Yeah. I'm helping. Did you have to pull me out? Just a I little. feel like I wasn't pushing. No, oh, that's good. Really good. Proud of you. One more. Yep. This is arguably the harder one for me. The top set is hard, don't get me wrong. But because it's the first time going to like failure, it's fine. But then I'm so fatigued. My like muscular endurance just is not there yet, especially with this new training. It's like the back off set when I have to do more reps, even though it's less weight. I've been having such a hard time getting there. Yeah. So we'll see, but I felt good. Everybody knows somebody, I know somebody. <laughs> and that's it we're done with those it sucks because it starts so easy it's just like accessory shit the fact that it's only getting harder is <laughs> brutal i don't even have hammies anymore huh yeah you do all right we have single leg leg press bring my feet a little closer to the center i have low foot placement on this as opposed to the Hack squat where I had high foot placement. And I'm thinking about driving my knees outwards towards my armpits. That's basically it. Nice and slow. And because I'm pretty primed now, this will probably be my only warm up set. No need to waste mm -hmm. any more energy than needed because my joints and everything are already nice and warm. And with this, obviously, allow yourself to bring your knees down as far as you can go, but pin yourself to the back of the seat. As soon as your heels start coming up, you know you're going down a little too deep. Just go down as far as your ankle mobility will let you. But honestly, over time, you got to start working on your ankle mobility so that way your range of motion improves. It's 
out. Don't show them. People have weird kinks. Good. There you go. You got it. Come on. I think this is eight right here. Yeah. Wanna drive. I farted. You did? I didn't hear it. He farted. Today might be the day I shit my pants. I might finally poop my pants. <laughs> Good, come on. Good. Fuck me. Good, push, come on. Big body, big body. My shit is fucked up, shorty. Yeah. Is that six? Something like that. You got a lot more though. Mm -hmm. These are moving too good. You got it. Push. Good. Push. Come on. Nice. That was really good. Just the lactic acid. Mm hmm. She's on fire. Good, come on. Come on, drive up. You got it, come on. Come on, push, push, push. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. we? He doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. Just like all the rest, try to tuck your, your butt all the way to the back of the uh, Hold yourself in nice and tight. Point your toes upwards. And squeeze. It's so nasty, like. I'm used to training with music playing. And with no music playing, I can just hear the grinding in my knees. Really? Yeah. You heard that? I don't know if I did. I had to cool off a bit. I was like, one, the pre was killing me. And I'm just, I was out of breath, man. <laughs> this is a hard leg day. It's, it, I feel like it's, it looks deceivingly easy. 
Or maybe it looks hard. I don't no, know. No, this is like... But it's very hard. This is like the toughest of the toughest leg exercises all in one leg yeah. day. Give this a try, seriously, and tell me that your legs aren't obliterated. I promise you. This will destroy you. Especially if you slow the f down and you actually... Mm -hmm. Do these working sets with tempo. It's like unbelievable. And like actually train till failure. Yeah, yeah, and that too. Wait. Mm hmm. Good, come on. Fuck, I can't. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Go ahead. Good, come on. Come on, push. That's all she wrote. Go ahead. Some of y'all might think it's weird just having like two working sets, but if you try it like in this sort of like setup, you'll see how hard it is. It's mm -hmm. so hard. Because I've never done it myself until the last, what has it been now, four or five weeks, something like that. Yeah. And it was so different to like to get used to, but it's humbling, it's truly humbling. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes more isn't more, you know, less is more. Yeah. If you train with intention. I'm walking kind of like a lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm naturally like so pigeon toed, so with my feet out, it feels so weird. I'm usually yeah. like my feet are in, sort of. No. Okay, yours are too, right? Or no? Neither of us walk funny. I mean, I don't walk like that. Hey. I don't think you walk like that. <laughs> no, I know. Slightly though. Like, it feels better with my feet pointed in and out. <laughs> Like my brother walks like that pretty much. <laughs> um, we got split squats, the last thing. Rear elevated split squats. I have so much blood in my legs. It's like insane feeling. You don't even have to do a warm up set with weight if you don't want to. Oh, okay. Just get your placement right, you know? Pop your <sighs> shit. Pop your shit, twin. <sighs> I like can't bend my legs. Do you use straps? Oh, uh, no, I'm not gonna use straps today. Okay. It's so nice to train in an empty gym. As, like, often as Kayla and I post on social media and on YouTube, we hate filming around other people, like, so much. We're still like, I, will, I will, won't speak for Kayla, but at least I'm so embarrassed to, like, pose when there's people around or even just train with people, like, nearby and I'm talking to the camera, it's so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So to get an empty gym is nice. You got it. Your last thing of the day. <coughs> Good, come on. Nice. Good though. Hey. That was failure. You hear all that snapping and popping? Yeah. Yeah. This boy. You got it. Come on. 
Good, come on. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Fuck me. <sighs> Should be like, my camera died. I couldn't record my last set. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. I feel like such a puss because it's not heavy, but it is. It is though, it's in both hands. Most people do it single. Yeah. Like I do a 60, so you're doing double what I do. And at least it's at the end, you know? I'm not fresh Yeah, anymore. at the end is crazy. Good, come on. Good, John. Come on, push. Up. Fuck me. Mm. Oh, oh my God. Your evil smile. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to drive home. For real? Yeah, I'm so serious. <laughs> Good, come on, finish it. Come on, push. Are you cramping? That was nuts. My oats almost came up. For real? It was so close, yeah. <laughs> it was right here. Oh no. I need water so bad. Okay, we're back home. We've been back home now for a while. I was just like so exhausted. That was a brutal, brutal workout. Uh, we've eaten since. The next video I'll do is probably a full day of eating. My food has changed a lot. Like that's one of the main things that's changed. My split has changed and my diet's changed like tremendously from what I was eating on prep till now. It's like so much more food. It's kind of similar stuff though, but I'll still walk you guys through a full day of eating in the next video. And I appreciate the support. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.